So one of the other hot topics that has come up uh, now is what happens if I lived in New York City, um, I had an apartment in New York City, and I worked for an employer in New York City, and now because of COVID, I've moved. So you'll see that the New York Times said mail forwarding doubled uh, in a very short period of time. You know, so many people have moved out of New York State. So New York State recently issued um, guidance. What you need to know is if you lived in New York City, uh, you would be domiciled there. And if you're going to claim that you moved out, you have the burden by clear and convincing evidence that you're no longer domiciled. So if you temporarily moved out, that's not going to help. So New York State's going to have the benefit of seeing what took place a year or two or three when they come back and audit you. So what happens if you lived in New York City, worked in New York City, but temporarily left either the state or the city? So again, you will have the burden to show that you moved, but let's say you're out in the Hamptons, okay? And let's say while you're out in the Hamptons, your lease is up from New York City. And let's say your employer says, you know what? You can work remotely. Now, maybe that may be hard in the restaurant uh, scenario, but maybe, you know, maybe there are... Uh, things that you could do. Let's say you're the financial person and you could do deal with the books and records from another location. So is it a permanent move? Did you intend to make this a permanent move? Again, you will have the burden and uh, again, New York State will have the benefit. But what, they've, but what they've said is if you were always a city resident, you are still a city resident and you're taxed in New York City continually until you change your domicile. You would also be taxed in New York if you had a place of abode uh, in New York state or the city, and you had more than 183 days in the state. So if you moved out of the state, uh, you could uh, perhaps uh, look at this rule as well. Now let's go to the next slide. What happens if you were a non-resident? You always lived in Connecticut, and now you worked in New York City or New York State. Your primary office was there all of this time and now you've been telecommuting during the pandemic. New York State came out with uh, frequently asked questions that they put up on their website, and they said, you are still taxed where your primary office is um, unless your employer established a bona fide office at your telecommuting location. And New York City, if you were never a New York City resident, you're not taxed in New York City. 